Good evening ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Beaky here with another unboxing. Today we will be looking at the XIT Photo Tripod. It's called the Pro Series 50 inch Tripod. It's designed for camcorders and DSLRs. Now this is one of the cheaper tripods on Amazon, but I needed something at least a little bit more upgraded than my previous tripod that is completely fallen apart as I will show you guys right now. It's coming from this company right here. And the problem with this one is like the top removes, but then it falls off. It doesn't stay on very well. The legs on the bottom, some of the leggings always drop off. I have to pop them back on. And even down to here where the tripod feet get connected, these will fall off from time to time, which really does suck. So we needed to upgrade something from a little bit better to use with my GoPro and other cameras that I use. I don't use anything too heavy on them other than GoPros, webcams, and things of that size or, or cell phones. So I don't have to really worry about the camera weight too much. But I do want something that's not going to be falling apart anymore. I want to see if this could do the job for a pretty cheap price. So that's what I'm doing this video for. Anybody out there who's planning to need a tripod for something that's more lighter weight, even though this does say camcorders and, you know, something a little bit more heavyweight, I... I know sometimes the cheaper ones don't hold up in the long run, but we'll see right now what it looks like and how good it is. So it looks like it comes with a black bag for the carry case. So if you need to carry it around with you, I guess that's nice. My other one didn't come with that. Extra bags never hurt, I guess, for camera equipment. Then inside the bag is the tripod itself. Right there, these will look at his feet. That's a concern to you guys. Want to make sure that the feet come out a specific way. And then let's get into the tripod itself. Alright guys. So here we are. This is a tripod right when you take it out of the box. Let's just stand it up. And just check it out real quick. So first of all. Feels like the joints are pretty darn stiff, so that's a good. That's actually a good thing. That means that you know you can lighten, tighten them up, or loosen them out to make them move a little bit more freely, whichever way you want it to move or tighten it and have it move less. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with a quick look of the tripod body itself. I've already tried it on a few different cameras on top of it, and let's just give you guys my quick opinion of what I thought about this specific cheaper model for a tripod that's just gonna get the job done if you're gonna be putting something like a GoPro on top of it, or something smaller like a little Logitech webcam, which is either the 4K1 Bryo that's coming out, that's how I'm gonna be reviewing very soon, or something like the C20 right here, 920. Anyways, so here we go, so, it's a very simple tripod as most of you guys know. We have stuff like here where you could adjust everything by loosening them up. Just this top bottom. Obviously on the top it has itself like, you know, balance. So if you want to try to balance everything out when you turn it around, you could do that. This is for adjustments too. You could turn it the other way. You could loosen this up if you want it to smooth a little smoother. It's not going to be the most smooth thing ever, but if it gets the job done, if you're just using webcams or stuff like that, this is right here if you want to unloose this. Then you could raise it up higher if you like. I do use this quite a lot because of this situation. If you go down a little further to the base, you guys will see I have the legs all the way out extended as much as possible. And these legs down here are feel very flimsy, and I feel like those will break off pretty quickly if you have a heavier camera. So if you're using a very heavy camera, I would suggest to just put it um, up to this level and then just extend the neck up and then use it like that. That would probably be a little bit more sturdy and make the, camp, the, the tripod stay in place a little bit better in my opinion. Build quality, you could definitely tell it's just a cheaper um, metal material, but it doesn't feel plastically like it's about to just fall apart. I, I've already like, tried to pull on it, push on it, because I was having a big problem with my other one, like I said, with these coming out. So I've, I've already tried to put a bunch of force. So, like right now, I'm really pulling on them to see if they're going to come apart, because that's where I'm going to be worried about. I don't want stuff like that to come apart. So let me just put a camera on it real quick and show you guys what that looks like real fast. 
So if you're somebody like me who just needs a second camera outside of your main camera to be on a tripod for certain different types of videos, like a webcam here, a GoPro or something like that, this tripod would definitely work. I like the fact that underneath, right over here, it's hard for you guys to see I'm sure, but there's a little knob which you just screw to help screw in a webcam like this so you don't have to spin around the webcam on top of the, the, the base itself to screw it in because that's going to really be hard and the, the wires going to start getting tangled up so it makes it pretty darn simple. Um, only thing that's kind of weird for this one, uh, just because how my camera is, it's hard to see the level uh, with the camera on it. So you're going to have to come down and really look to see like, oh man, is the level right there or not? So like it's right there. So I don't like the design of that compared to my other tripod where the level was actually off to the side where it was very easily inaccessible. But I'm sure I will get used to that. So that might be an annoyance to some people out there. But overall, just a quick little look at this tripod right here, guys. I like how it is so far from me using it i'm gonna be able to get used to it and it seems to be sturdier than the last one i got for eight bucks like i said if you want something heavy duty you're gonna want to go for a bigger price you might want to go with the amazon basic one that's 25 dollars, which looks a little bit more sturdy and a little bit more features i'll have that link in the description but because of my needs i just need something that's gonna be really cheap cost wise and just hold something like a webcam or a gopro type of size without falling apart because the other one i had just started falling apart on its own it wasn't even like the cameras made it heavy it's just like the joints right here weren't very stiff like the screws holding in um these in weren't good but these feel a lot better and seem a lot more better made than the last one i had in the past let me know what you guys think about tripods in the comment section below do you go always high quality just in case in case you don't want to drop your camera or are you okay going cheap for certain equipment like a webcam because like i said it's a webcam it does way too much even if it drops off it usually is fine Speaking of the Untitled Game Show, just wanted to showcase this for you guys today. Till next time, peace out.